Is this an act of God or Satan? I think it's kind of one and the same on this game. Oh hell, I think we shit, we made it to hell, man. Even simpler, that's oh, that, man. That, that that's a hell level. And let's see just how simple it is, shall we? <laughs> let's let's oh, I'm ready. Let's delve into the realm of simple that, you know, this game thinks. Oh, I know I think I have an idea of what this level is. There's a level in Doom 2 called uh Dead Simple, which involves you in a small arena fighting a bunch of enemies. Really? So really? I think I know what to expect for this one. So this is like yeah, it a, even has a cutscene before it, too. This is like a throwback, huh? All right. I am going to save. I don't know what to expect, but I think I know what's going to happen. Well, we're what? The what grade? The grade triple A UAC poison? The grade? <laughs> Who wrote this? Look, okay, okay, look. The storyline here is not exactly written by Spielberg, okay? I have no right. I have I'm nothing. Assuming once you hit that switch. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't know what to say either. I, I, just saying words. I'm just gonna grab the uh, the rocket launcher here because it's giving me a lot of shotgun ammo and so fuck the shotgun. The game gives me the shotgun, I say fuck the shotgun. Oh hey look, Mankey Bye. Nice. <laughs> Lots yeah, and lots of Mikey uh, Bye. That's how it was in Doom 2 as well. Well, this is going just out fucking standing. Ah, Jesus. I have a feeling you're not telling the truth. Oh, oh sure I am, sure I am. Would I, would I lie? Why would I lie? Hell, this is... Doesn't get any better than this, man. Okay, I think we finally caught him. All right. That wasn't too bad. Oh, no, no, never mind. Yeah, they kind of. I, I said that when you right before you lost 100 health. Yeah, right when I got stuck in the corner. Yeah, that that was great level design once again. I love the uh, like the clipping on this game. It's it's just so good. Is that a cyber demon? Uh, no, I don't think. If it is, then well, looks like I'll no, be no, turning cheats on. <laughs> Uh, here's a fun fact. The original level, you could uh, strafe around the uh, inner ring. Like, you notice those stairs leading into that uh, uh, that building. Mm-hmm. Right. You spawn inside of that building when the level starts, and you can just circle strafe the uh, thank you by and use uh, the pillars for cover. Oh. Instead of spawning you into the courtyard and being open to fire from all directions. Right. Well, you know, I mean, this one is... The name of this level, though, is even simpler. So, you know, fuck that strafing shit. They just want you to rush headlong into the fireball. See? Even simpler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes the gameplay that much easier. Oh, yeah. Just it, run into the fireballs. It's it's the advanced version, let's be real. I, okay, I'll go with advanced. <laughs> I don't really agree, but I'll go with it. Oh, come on. Does, does that word just not suit this game to a T? I mean, really. I thought you said you liked this game. I do, but that says a lot about how I like Doom, too, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, Jesus, are you but fucking I, serious? Oh, my God. I mean, I'll say I've been harsh on the level design on this game, but that's only because I've played a lot of Doom and Doom 2. Yeah. Right, right. It's just like I'm going by the knowledge I have of those games. This shit never ends. My god, Barons of Hell just spawned, Pain Elementals, and more Mancubi. Also, I remember being. I remember Dead Simple being a lot uh, quicker. As yes. Well. Even simpler. Nothing like a bullshit advertising on that one, huh? <laughs> John Romero, we're suing you for false advertisement in Doom 64. <laughs> John Romero is full of shit. Who would have thought? <laughs> I, I'm surprised he hasn't been like I don't know the oh I remember um could it could you see him for small uh advertising for uh what was it Dai Katana or you said he would make you his bitch or something I'm sure that's already been done to death I don't know he, I mean he's still relevant somehow how is Dai Katana even remotely relevant still I guess it's legendary for how horrible it is. Yeah, well, 
Well, I can kind of see that. Okay, maybe a point there. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. You can blame people who stream it still. I, but last person I've seen stream it, Psychedelic Eyeball. Blame him. I will. Actually, you know, I mean, I can understand a little bit of it, you know, because you'd had a uh, Proteus and Suspicious that went through it, what, 2007 or whenever the fuck it was, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I even, be a, it's really old. even as good as that Let's Play was, you know, that was not a, uh, like, a sit down mm -hmm. and watch an episode a day. You had to have, I had to, or at least me, I had to have, like, weekly, at the minimum, weekly breaks between each viewing, just because... I can only take so much John Romero original content. <laughs> I wonder if Daikatana's on Steam. I think it is. Are you? Oh, please, no. No, 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 no. There's no way. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I'm gonna find out. Daikatana uh, on Steam. That. Daikatana on Steam for $6.99! They want you to pay more than five bucks for that shit? There's no way in hell. Hell yeah! Wow. Hang on, I'm going to the page right now. Why is it on the holiday sale? I have to put in my birthday for it and everything. <laughs> Somebody gift this to me now. Daikatana. Six bucks only. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Steam reviews that they recently implemented? Mm-hmm. Oh great, does that does it have some? Oh hell yeah, most of them recommended me! Uh, oh, I can't wait to hear this shit. Come on, read some of them, man. That, I, I gotta hear this. Okay. Hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this one. Uh this one is posted by Spore Spare. Uh he said he recommends it. Very enjoyable if you can look past the uh, a few of the game-breaking bugs around three-fourths of the game. Really? <laughs> it's like a fucking Newgrounds review. Most maps through the single-player variant of the game are very well built and uh, aesthetically ple uh, pleasing. I'm sorry, I stuttered there. I purchased... I can't... I can barely keep my breath. <laughs> I purchased game mostly due to the fact that the disc broke when I was younger, so my opinion may be somewhat biased due to nostalgia. Companions are irritating at best due to them lacking a few brain cells in the AI. Soundtrack is surprisingly pleasant, especially once you've reached the second chapter of the game. Overall, I rate the game an honest 6 out of 10. If you ignore the game-breaking bugs, at least. <sighs> Oh, Man, right. I can barely read the rest of that review. You know, I can I can already <laughs> that opening sentence. I can already see now that it seems to me like the Steam reviews are gonna be about the same quality as Newgrounds. So right on. Oh no. Hang on, do you want me to read another one? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Also I just want you to notice here that this entire time I've been bitching about how hard this fucking level was with all the spawning shit. There was a uh, invulnerability thing that spawned right here in the center of the arena that I never picked up. Well, you're a pro. You don't need it. You don't. You don't need that bullshit. Hell no. Beat the I game legit. Hmm. How the hell did I miss an enemy in there? That's odd. Oh well. Pish posh. Oh. Anyway, yeah, come on, sure, why not? Read another review. We can always do with more Daikatana reviews on air. <laughs> I was about to read this one, but it seems like a troll review. He's only he has only played this for an hour. But, oh, uh, I'll go ahead and read it. Yeah, go ahead. Why it not? has some very interesting levels and enemies. The graphics don't look bad for the time, and the weapons are very well designed. The only problems are that. There are there is no widescreen support. The game overall is very difficult, uh, pretty difficult. You can get hurt by your own weapons by accident sometimes, which hurts a lot. Keep in mind, he said the weapons were very well designed a sentence ago. Like most of the weapons in Daikatana have splash damage that will hit you regardless right. of how far yeah, away you are uh, from the projectile. Well, that was kind of like the whole you know realism thing of the 3D era, you know. Exploding Ooh. weapons cause explosive damage to you too. Imagine that. 
And some of the sounds can be annoying after a while, which puts you off of playing a bit. But apart from that, it's pretty good. I'd give it 7 out of 10. Are you shitting me? So <laughs> that review was worse than the last one, and he rated it higher. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my goodness, this this is a gold mine. You see, honestly, that is why I like fucking around with people on like Left 4 Dead 2 and everything. It's just because the, the community is so What's the uh the uh the classy way of putting this? Stupid? Yeah, I think we'll go with that, why not? <laughs> that, that works. <laughs> They're kind of like oh, early. This guy's played it for I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh no, I believe me, I was just gonna spout off some bullshit, so go ahead. <laughs> Okay. Well, I just found one more review. There's still plenty on here. There's like 20 reviews. Uh... This guy named Steb. The first line of this review is, This is my favorite per first-person shooter of all time. Mm-hmm. He has played this for 10 hours. <laughs> what? GoldenEye 64 I, not... lasted longer than that. Like, I don't know if he's beaten the game, but he's played it for 10 hours at least. Well, I'm, uh, I'm happy for him, I guess. It's, it's, maybe he's just that good, you know? Take this from a die-hard Kai Katana fan. <laughs> <laughs> this game is worth it. They really touched it up after the delays. Oh, well... He's uh, comparing it to a Kami and Wind Waker! What is wrong with what? this guy? How can you even... Well, the what? visual style... It's probably the best I've seen so far. Much better than games like Okami and Wind Waker. He had controlling. I cannot... That has to be... Fight. Yeah, that's... I mean... Because let's be honest, okay? The, the, the graphics, even for the time that it came out, were really, really goddamn bad. <laughs> Um, I, I just noticed as well, uh, there's a new grounds type thing where you can see how many people found this review helpful. Five out of six people found this review helpful! Okay, actually, oddly enough, that does not surprise me. Um, still. Still, though. That just... no. But I mean... Uh, yeah, it's... really, talking about the graphics, though, that's like... I mean, even when the game come out, like, you know, PlayStation era, right? The, the graphics were, uh, were, uh, oh, I don't know, bad? <laughs> yeah, early 3D graphics on FPS games were generally mediocre. That's right, like, right, but... The one thing... No, go ahead. Well, I mean, you know, but there was still, there was, there was a standard, and, you know, I mean, it wasn't like... It wasn't unbearable to look at like Daik Daikatana was, you know what I mean? Mm hmm So, I don't, I don't know. Like, I think I had... I think I had a lot to do with the color palette they used for Daikatana as well. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That was really, really horrible in and of itself. But it's like, even then, like, Daikatana didn't look great, but that was the least... Like, that was the least problematic part of it. Yeah. The problem yeah. was everything else. Yeah, it was like, it you know, I mean... a really miserable game to play. Well, it, only, it took till what? Like, Sonic 2006 for another glitchier game to actually be released? Ah, uh, that's... That may be debatable, but I, I don't know for sure myself. <laughs> it's, it, it's close. Yeah. God, Sonic 2006 is such a piece of garbage. It is. I tried. Yeah, people, people like that game too. Are you serious? People defend that game to the death. Now I'll be yeah. on. Now I'll be honest on that one. I have not read any good reviews over that game at all. No, I mean not. We're, we're talking like even YouTube, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. So. No, I, there's some people who love the game on YouTube, from what I've seen, and say it's their favorite Sonic game. Was like, I played any of the other ones? Well, yeah, but then, okay, you have to keep in mind, though, okay, the people that are saying that shit are probably the ones that, on, like, the weekend or whatever, they have these little, like, like, fox costumes and shit that they wear and all that, so it's... it's you're, We're going there, huh? They're giving a biased opinion, in other words, okay? We bring up Sonic for, like, 30 seconds, you're already going into the first. Well, for fuck's sake, dude, it's not like the, the designers or anything just... 
fucking basically out and out popped out with that shit, right? With 06. <laughs> the love story between Sonic and whatever that dumb bitch was, you know? I think her name was Elise. Yeah, sure, fine, whatever. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Just... Uh, there are people who have speedrun Sonic 06, but that's because it's so broken. You can skip like half the game by glitching through like the levels and. What's killing me? God damn! I couldn't move and I just fucking died. That's amazing. I love this game. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> what just happened? There was a lost soul that was like on my head, and I could. You can't aim up, and I couldn't move. <laughs> so it basically glitch killed me. Nice. Oh, hold on, hold on. I wanna. I just want to clarify this for everyone. You died in a narrow corridor with like 50 lost souls surrounding you. Well, That's yeah. What okay. Maybe. I, I just wanted to verify <laughs> that. But there were extenuating circumstances, man. Come on. As if that wasn't bad enough, I died to a glitch on top of it. <laughs> this game just keeps on giving. Oh, yeah. There is no more anime death. Anime death is gone. <laughs> yeah, anime death bit the dust. Actually, anime, anime death is one of the trapped goddesses in Uncraft Me Too, or space <laughs> idols, or whatever. <laughs> oh well. So, somebody, it's did, DLC. Shit, I'm green lighting that game right now, yo. That's horrible. That really. Oh, that's. I don't know. People are just. There's one thing that I've learned, you know, I knew it before I even got into Let's Play, alright? But Let's Play has just, I don't know, solidified my, my knowledge that, in general, people are fucking horrible. <laughs> I, I think that's a pretty safe assumption. <laughs> I mean, really. I, mean, I, try, I try to be a nice guy on the internet, but then there's this thing I see, like, Daikatana reviews, where I'm just like, what is wrong with you people? Well, there's a difference between being Why? nice and then, you know, condoning, like, like, what is, what is the technical term for it? Anthropomorphic shit or whatever it is, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. There's a difference between being nice and then, you know, saying, hey, yo, foxy lady. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why'd you have to say it like that? Like that? Ugh. Why? Uh, honestly, dude, it's it's some there's some weird weird shit, weird shit out I, there. I, you know, to be honest, I am really kind of upset with how Sonic has gone. Just because I used to love the Sonic games when I was a kid. Oh yeah, when I first hell got yeah. Sega Genesis. Like I love the games. Hell yeah. And then I see the fan base of most of those games today, and I'm just like, what? I, I don't. I'm really sad that I'm kind of associated with you. Yeah, no shit, right? Why are you dressing up in Sonic suits? Please stop. You don't have to do this. No shit, right? And it's... I don't know. And You know, it would be different if it was like, you know, like 10-year-olds or something like that, just having fun, right? You know? But these are like... Yeah, yeah. These are like 20-plus individuals, okay? That's what I don't get at all. At all. And like the weird, another funny thing is that I notice on every like Sonic LP I've seen, like if you're even the slightest bit critical of a Sonic game, <laughs> like these Sonic fans just like jump on you, to yeah. take your flesh from your bones. You it's are, you're you're spot on with that. They uh, they're they're like on the same level as like Pokemon fans basically. Yeah, I mean. Which. I don't know. Do we? Shall we dive into the realm of Pokemon? We may as well. We're, I don't think we're ever reaching a bottom to this barrel. Oh no, no, hell has no bottom, sir. Hell has no bottom. Uh, I, I agree. Sonic Generations was a pretty good game. Uh, there's a lot of things I could have done better in it, but as it was, I did like the idea behind it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That, um, actually, that was the first Sonic game that I have really, really enjoyed. Just, I mean. Forget the storyline, forget all that, but just gameplay-wise, just really purely enjoyed in a long time, mm -hmm. you know. Sonic Colors, oh, yeah, definitely. Colors was okay, but it it wore a little thin after a while, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I... yeah, you wanted to bring up Pokemon. Uh oh. 
I don't know why you want to. You're the one who wants to bring it up. I don't know why you want to do this. Because I'm a sadistic bastard. Have you not learned this yet, man? Come on. I have learned it quite a while ago. <laughs> it's fine. It's all right. Pokemon, then. What did you want to talk about <laughs> involving Pokemon? I don't know. I had some weird, creepy point that all the people always do with that shit, but it was on the same level of, like, Sonic 06 and all that, so it's it's really... It really doesn't matter, and it's probably a good thing that I don't remember what the hell I was trying to say. <laughs> Honestly, well, I'll just save everybody the, the, the grief and say, you know what, fuck it, I don't remember. I don't know. Star, uh, Star Soul is saying bring it. He's ready for it. Yeah, he would say something like that, wouldn't he? We've actually gained viewers somehow since we started talking about all this nonsense. <laughs> Nothing brings out the LP fans like furry Sonic, you know, it'd be like a podcast, you know? We could have, there we go, you know, you have Retsu Talk, we could have uh, Sonic Talk or Pokey Talk. I'm going to carry that Retsu Talk fame all the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, milk it for all that it is worth. I don't really care about that. It's fine. It was a lot of fun being on that podcast, though. Oh, yeah. It's it's good just to kind of kick back and deal with some people that aren't fucking retarded for the most part. Which kind of begs the question, why are you in this stream again? I have... <laughs> you have nothing better have to do. <laughs> you have nothing better to do, do you? Uh, what about the Pokemon cos cosplayers? That's such a thing? Uh, See, I, didn't I, even... I don't know what level Old Man Marsh is referring to. Do you mean people dressing up as the human characters or as the Pokemon? <laughs> Doesn't matter, really. I, I think I could stomach the human cosplay a bit more than the Pokemon ones. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> But let's be honest. The only reason, the, the reason that I brought that up is because there was an old, uh, an old Red Radio that it was like Pokemon self-insertion fan fiction or something like that. Oh yeah, that was Mage Knight. Uh, yeah, there you go. I think. It yeah, and Mage Knight Four Four. That's it. Yeah. But, but the goons did like some internet detective shit on this dude, and come to find out that was not the first, uh, the first self-insertion like hack that he's done of an RPG like that. He did one of, like, Final mm -hmm. Fantasy or some shit. Uh, Fire Emblem. Or uh, Fire it Emblem, was an yeah. it, was a, it was an actual ROM hack. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the thing. The dude hacked the game, okay, and did all this fucking, like, technical shit with it, and turned it into that. <laughs> yeah. That's just... I mean, from a technical perspective, it's pretty good. Oh, but yeah. But then you realize... Then he adds a love affair with, like, a fictional girl. Yeah. A self-insert with a fictional love affair with a fictional character in that game. And yeah. it's just like, uh... Yeah. I I'm gonna play the part of the Sandcastle on this one, you know. I mean, it's... it's. I think I brought this up last time, but it's like the guy that posted the, uh, the picture of himself in the Sandcastle with his LP test post that was, like, him being, you know, half-naked or whatever. The, I guess the technical aspects of the LP were okay, but, you know, no. Somebody like that needs just to get... too weird. Somebody like that needs yeah. to get, like, you know, fucking just shun them. Shun them, man. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't know why people decide, hey, I'm going to post this weird thing on SA and think it will be perfectly fine. That's what happened to the guy who made that... Final Fantasy VI uh, ROM hack, really. Uh, refresh refresh um, my memory on this one, because I, uh, I don't know about this. Okay. Uh, Mega64 is currently doing an LP of uh, Final F a ROM hack of Final Fantasy VI called Brave New World. Uh -huh. um, basically, it fixes a lot of the uh, problems the original had, uh, gameplay-wise. I don't know all the changes off the top of my head, but from what I heard, it's a really Really impressive hack. Right. What's right. not so impressive are some of the uh, dialogue choices. Um, <laughs> there's a lot more swearing for whatever reason. Uh, okay, well, I, I could live with that. There's a couple. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's. A lot of it's just not very well done dialogue wise. Mm hmm. Um, but, and there's some extra scenes that are really out of place. Right. But as a. 
I, I, there's nothing wrong to hack in that regard. It's just a few poorly placed scenes that kind of interfere with the story. But uh, outside of that, it's a really good ROM hack. Right, right. And like the, uh, the, the person who made that ROM hack was posting in the thread. And uh, eventually, while there was some downtime in the thread, someone posted some cute uh, pictures of uh, dogs that were modeled after the uh, main characters. Okay, yeah. Like, they're really adorable dog pictures. Okay. Um, the artist had a, uh, a tiny little bit of detail to the crotch. Like, there's nothing major. It's just a tiny little detail just to signify they're male dogs, because otherwise you wouldn't know the difference. Okay. Um, so the creator, like, some people make it a big deal about the dog talks, and I'm just like, it's not that big of a deal. It's fine. People are freaking out over nothing. And then the creator of the ROM hack posts, uh, made a post saying... Yeah, the dog talks aren't a big deal, especially coming from a guy who looks at plop. Wait, what? What? <laughs> You're gonna oh. have to run that one by me again. There, I, I think I heard what you I said. I have but not, I'm not looked certain. it up. I have looked. I have not looked it up. But from what I gathered from the core, the post that followed that one, it's apparently uh, a fetish involving plop. And plop. Plop. Uh -huh. You know, the sound horses make whenever they're walking. Oh, God! <laughs> Jesus Christ. You had to fucking say some Mega sick 64 shit like that, actually you? had to close the thread for multiple days just to get everyone to calm down from that. At, at least tell me they were upset with it, right? They weren't, like, condoning oh, that shit, oh, were yeah. they? No, no, they weren't supporting that at all. Okay, okay. Yeah, everyone turned on him so quickly. It was kind of hilarious in a way. Well, fucking good. I was looking at that. I was looking at that post. I'm just like, why are you sharing that? What? What is wrong with you? Well, I don't want to know that. Good for the fucking thread, dude. I mean, LP is just weird enough. You know, we don't need the let's play Mr. Hands, okay? No. <laughs> And, like, I, I can't believe he posted that. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, that... It's... I don't know. <laughs> we, it, it... But yeah, he was... He was banned. I don't think he's <laughs> probably coming back anytime soon. I think he realized that he's probably not going to be welcomed. Oh, if somebody can buy him an alt account, sure. Funny fact, someone bought him an avatar and a custom title shortly after he said that. <laughs> I didn't get to see what it was. But, uh, I'm, sure so it was, I'm sure it was good, whatever it was. I, I'm sure. I don't know. That's... Oh, man, this story is going to get us banned on Hitbox or something, I'm sure. <laughs> I will never. Looks like I'm going to be going back to Twitch, alright. <laughs> of course, that would actually mean that uh, Hitbox has gaming standards, and I. So, <laughs> somehow I doubt that. Right. But I've yeah. actually seen people like stream some really questionable anime stuff on here. Oh, of course. That that doesn't surprise me at all. I, yeah, why not? I can sound... I can hear the disappointment in your voice. Like, you sound really sad right now. Well, I mean, you know, it's... It's, you know, har-har funny for a little bit, and then it just gets depressing, you know? Yeah, I, <laughs> like, I like, really. Understand. It's just... Hello, Blinky Yeti. Or Blink Yeti. Blink Sorry. Yeti. Now there's a good name for you. That... <laughs> What's happening, man? I just wish porn was called porn. Well, you gotta differentiate, man, because, you know, you don't want to be going to, like, <laughs> you, you don't want to be trying to get your rocks off and then all of a sudden see, like, some My Little Pony shit come up on your monitor. That... <sighs> Although, I guess, if you go to Reddit, that's one of the popular things, so fuck it. <laughs> Literally! Yeah! That's right, I made the joke. See? Uh, I told you it was wearing thin. <laughs> <laughs> How do we get... <laughs> no, 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 hey, now, this is, some, have... like, this is like some...